Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make dal roti. Dal roti is actually made with a gram dal, and this is how the gram dal look. So I've got a cup of this gram dal picked and washed, and I've got a liter of water in this uh, little pot. I am going to actually allow it to boil for about half an hour. And then I've got a teaspoon of rough salt that will go into the boiling. And then another teaspoon of haldi to help to color the gram dal while boiling. So now I will allow it to boil till it gets soft. Uh, I'm actually showing you all uh, per cup uh, because there isn't been many many families are gone very small now and uh, if you actually intend making more so you can add on to how I'm making it uh, add on from one to two so you have to just keep watching the doll because we have to keep watching the doll because this will actually rise up and we have to, have to pick it up and throw it away I will allow this doll to boil for about half an hour and then I'll check it whether it's soft enough to actually grind the doll. Uh, grind doll normally don't get uh, soggy and uh, it don't get very soft. That's the reason why we have to grind it very fine. Uh, 20 minutes has passed us and this is how soft a gram doll must appear where you can be able to break it with your fingers and thereafter I'm going to strain this and I'm going to actually grind it up with the four cloves of garlic that I've got. Okay I've strained my doll out and I've got my four cloves of garlic. I'm going to take this and grind it with my food processor. Okay this is the amount of uh, gram doll after grinding. It's ground uh, fine and I also ground my garlic wood. Now I'm ready to actually braise it. In the braising, I use two tablespoons of this uh, cooking oil because you mustn't use too much of oil. You have to use very little oil to braise. Otherwise, if you use extra oil, the doll will get soggy. Then I'm using my teaspoon of jeera for braising. This is the old jeera, just to fry out in the oil. In fact, the jeera actually brings out the nice rich taste of the dal roti. Don't allow it to burn. The moment if you can feel you can get the smell of the jeera, then you can actually switch the stove off because it's done. I'll pour it in my bowl. And together, I have a teaspoon of uh, mixed masala to add on and then to bring out more flavor I got dania and jeera powder separate so I'll just sprinkle on that will bring out all the flavors one teaspoon of uh, mixed masala one teaspoon of jeera dania powder and I'll give it a stir and I'll allow this to cool and then I'll add in uh, my dania. Okay, I'm actually mixing all this up with my hands. As you know, the hands do a better job. And then I have my dania that I cleaned and I washed out, drained the water. 
you know, drop it in. Uh, you can actually add uh, masala to your taste. If you like a nice hot uh, dal roti, you can actually grind some uh, green chilies and add it on, or some uh, dry chilies. Okay, for making my roti dough, I have uh, two cups of flour and I actually sieved out my flour and then I have some flour to actually uh, use up to make my dough and then I have a quarter cup of uh, cooking oil of which I'm going to add to my dough and then I have I have two tablespoons of all-purpose margarine to add to my dough and a teaspoon of fine salt of which I'm going to mix it all till it come to like a bread come finish okay Okay, now I'm going to wash up my hands till I boil some water for uh, kneading the dough. Okay, my water is boiled. I'm going to measure it with a cup. The cup is 250 ml. Yeah. Let us add it slowly. And this is just a cup. So it's two cups of flour goes to one cup of water. I'm gonna do this. to do my roti okay there was a viewer that actually asked from where do I get my plastic dish from they are from uh, Westpac Okay, now my dough is done. Right. Okay, I just uh, clean wrap my little dough while I prepare my tower to get hot. set it for a few minutes while I prepare my tawa. Okay, now I'm gonna put my tawa to get hot on the stove. Okay, I have here 125 uh, all-purpose uh, uh, margarine together with half a cup of oil of which I am gonna put it upon my tawa to actually heat up and that I will use to uh, put on the roti, to toast the roti. Okay, I have my wet dish cloth to let my choki actually rest on it. If I don't have a wet dish cloth underneath, 
the chokey will slide up on the uh, counter. Most people can actually use the counter, but I'm not used. Now I will start to roll out my roti. So we take a piece of the dough and then we can see the size that we like. So this is what I do. There was a viewer said a hey, roti don't usually come round. This is what you must do. On your center of your palm, you must turn it to a very round, like a ball finish, and then press. And dip it into your flour, and this is how you roll it. And press it with your thumbs. And now in this, I'm actually going to fill in some of my doll and press it all together till it seals. And again, I'll dip it into the flour. And this is my rolling pin. It, this choky burner is actually 33 years old. And I'm so fond of working with it. When I go anywhere for a function, I actually cannot work with the uh, rolling pin. And when rolling, you actually allow your rolling pin to do the work. You don't put any of your strength. You must let it just go round and round. And then you get perfectly round rotis. This rolling pin even got broken and you repaired it. Yes. Because I couldn't I get another one just like identical. So what I did was, when this part broke, I took a dough and I fixed it. <laughs> Rolling pins come in uh, different size and shapes, but when you use with something, it's just like the same thing. So this is my roti. This is my melted butter with my oil. And now my tawa is nice and hot. I'm going to put my roti. Even the tawa is 33 years old. Because when I moved out from my indoors, it's 33 years. So we had to buy our own tawa and choki belna because the dad of the house was a lover of roti. So I give it a turn. The heat is on moderate and I dust out the excess flour. After I gave it one turn, I'm actually going to smear the butter and the oil on it. Dal roti can be eaten plain with a nice cup of hot tea.
so you can see I turn my roti just three times I'm gonna pick it up and this is the container that's the dal roti then I'm gonna continue making the rest of it See. You can actually just roll it a little if you cannot flatten it so you can get more doll into your dough. Place the dough like that. Nice handful, and then you have to gather it till it's sealed. But make sure it has to seal properly, and otherwise, you get the doll escaping. Flower. Okay, now it's ready to go on the tower. Here you go, your lovely uh, dal roti. You can have it plain with your tea or eat it with the other types of curry. Okay, thank you all for watching. Till again we make another video. Enjoy. And happy one year anniversary to the YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for all the followers and subscribers and all the comments. And we'll keep on uh, making more recipes for you. Uh, thanks for following us on the journey.